Aziza still doesn't want to sleep with Mike. Ooh! 90 day fiance. Oh my goodness. Okay, so today's video is going to be on TLC's hit series, 90 Day Fiancé. If you haven't seen or heard of the show before, it's basically an American documentary series that follows around couples who are on a K-1 visa. It basically gives them 90 days to meet each other and decide to get married, otherwise the foreign partner has to leave the country. Today, we're going to be looking at the episode featuring a man called Mike and his Russian girlfriend Aziza. The couple originally met through a language learning website and their relationship was originally platonic. But sometime after Aziza's work visa was denied, their relationship turned romantic. Coincidence? I think not! Alright, let's get into it. Aziza and I are under a huge time crunch to organize for the wedding. I've arranged to visit a local restaurant for the wedding reception venue called J Bella. Doesn't really scream classy wedding, but then again, neither does a Russian male or a bride, so... I think J Bella would be a great place for the wedding reception because they have amazing food and they have a nice party room that would fit a small wedding for us. Hey Joe, how you doing? Long time no see, how you yeah, been? Hello, how are you? This is Aziza. Nice to meet you. Aziza. How many people are you thinking of having? 40, 50. 40, 50, perfect. It fits in here perfect. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks small. Oh no, Paul Mike realises it's going to be an uphill battle to convince Aziza from the start. You can even pinpoint the exact moment his heart drops and he realises it. Well, right now it's set. There's one, two, three, four, five. Right now there's, it's set for 48 right now. Really? Mm-hmm. I think it's plenty of room. I think that when it comes down to a, a nice venue for the wedding, maybe Mike and I are on a different page. This just hasn't gone to plan for the big man, has it? He probably thought she'd be so grateful for the green card that he could take her and a few of her family and friends to a local Italian diner, serve up some $5 spag ball and she'd be sound. Unlucky big man. Ooh! I have a more like girly taste. Mike probably doesn't care that much. I just wanted it to be a little more fancier, I guess. Isn't it like kind of tied to each other? <laughs> I don't know. Aziza had her mind made up, and I don't think there was anything that was going to change it. But you know, I just wanted to try the food and actually give the place a chance because I know the food is amazing there. Yeah, this is a menu. You want to try a couple things? Sure, that'd be good. Let's okay. See if she can taste. Yeah, try things. some of that. We can taste that. I thought maybe the food would change Aziza's mind. I don't want to try food. That's what we're here for. Where's the restroom? Where's the restroom? Restroom? Yep. That's right through the door there. <laughs> Awkward silence. Editors obviously didn't fancy taking this bit out. Just letting the audience know that these guys know that Aziza doesn't want to have the wedding at this restaurant and that Mike, who resembles a human thumb, <laughs> has no reason to be with Aziza, who looks like a 12 year old child. <laughs> yeah, she's kind of shy about eating in public, so we'll see if it happens. He just knows that's not true. Just shouldn't have said anything. I don't think Aziza's trying to be rude, but I think she can come across as being rude sometimes. You okay? Yeah. So do you want to try some? Okay. Huh? Actually, I'm thinking that maybe we shouldn't have passed it. I don't want it. You know, that's a pretty standard thing at weddings. Especially when you're having it at an Italian restaurant. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> he looks so offended. He's been so disrespected in his own restaurant. You're not going to try any of it? Like a, a little tiny bite? I'm good. It's okay for a restaurant for like some business lunch or something, but it's definitely not a place for my wedding. So you don't want to try any of this stuff? Not really. You just like <laughs> kind of know that wedding is something like special and it has to be like pretty and stuff. And then that room wasn't pretty. It wasn't meant for a wedding. Aziza has been here for two weeks now and we're getting comfortable living together. But 90 days is flying by and our sex life is still at a standstill. Honestly, didn't want to know that. Would have been fine without that information. <laughs> oh. So. Oh, please tell me they're not going to have a conversation about their stagnant sex life on camera in front of millions of people. It's kind of strange that, you know, we haven't slept together yet and we're about to get married. 
We've known each other now for a year and a half. Yeah, it's happening. I'm so sorry for this. Yeah. Been in love for more than a year. And we've been talking about it for a while now. Yeah. So. Oh, the little look she gives when he says it. She knows the conversation that's coming. You just get the feeling that she she just doesn't want to talk about this. I think we need to wait with sex. You've just witnessed a man die inside. <laughs> you were supposed to do it as soon as you got here. Yeah. Well. This whole scene is just so wrong. I don't really understand what point he's trying to make. Oh, you seem like you don't want to, but we said we'd do it when you arrived, so... Bit rapey, Mike. Bit rapey. The whole thing about uh, me and Mike not having sex is I still don't feel completely comfortable because we didn't have enough time to spend together. When it happens, it happens. I can't wait to have kids with you. It's time to stop! Right now is probably not the best time to have kids. Ooh. Yeah. Make sure we're all settled and everything. And yeah. I just want to be ready to have a kid when we have one. There's so many women on birth control. Yeah. I'll have to call and make you an appointment. You know what, Mike? Maybe she's just not into you. Maybe bringing up sex in three weird, creepy different ways isn't going to make her want to sleep with you anymore. It's creepy. Also, that decision just isn't yours to make. I wonder if, it, if the birth control will affect me, like, real bad. You oh, probably so. won't notice it, but my body probably will. And I, I hope that the hormones don't change anything with you. I don't really know anything about it. Yeah. But... Me neither. Never taken it before. Aziza may be a little more uptight than some American women. Yeah, just brush off the rejection as cultural differences. I can't believe Aziza's going through all this just for a green card. She needs to sort out her priorities. I think that, you know, she's just still worried about our sexual relationship. I hope she becomes a lot more comfortable. Yeah. Aww. Luki, you're so cute. After this episode aired in 2014, Mike and Aziza got married and they've been together ever since. In September 2018, Aziza posted on Instagram to announce that she's pregnant with their first child. This is the end of the video, so if you enjoyed, please leave a like down below and feel free to subscribe for more if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.